beats, guys. What's up? Uh, yeah. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Oh yeah, uh, this is okay. This is okay. I just got out of the doctor's office, and I've got another appointment. Yes, I gotta have a tube shoved down my throat. That's fantastic. And I need to look where I have to go. Somewhere on the other side of this building. Wait, is it here? Oh, that's where I gotta go! Yeah, so I have to get a tube shoved down my throat piece. And uh, I'll be sedated, so I can't even ride my bike. But then again, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? You know, I mean, totally be sedated and all like, uh, trying to ride my bike. <laughs> I kind of want to try that. Let's get up out this piece and let's go to a place I like to call the park. Bye. <laughs> Something about getting out of the doctors makes me want to go fast. Alright, I really wanted to uh, discuss, uh, ooh, don't do that. You know, obviously I'm looking at a Grom, right? But something has intrigued me even more, and I have mentioned it. The Z125 Pro, baby. You know what? That thing, it looks amazing! And... My friends at RevZilla.com, and actually, I'm, they, they're not my friends, but they are. They really are, because <laughs> they like motorcycles. Uh, they've done a review, because it was uh, press released or whatever. And they were one of the big boys that got to uh, partake of the ride. So it's, their, their review was great on it. You know, they really loved it, and basically, they put it up against the Grom. Uh, one of their editors, or, I don't know, yeah, editors, what you call them, the writers, when they test rode the Z125 Pro, you know what, I'm gonna call it the Z Pro, yeah, Z Pro, let's call it that Z Pro, even though it's smaller than the Z800 and the Z1000, oh my gosh, come on, light, okay, yeah, so, you know, yeah, Ducati, baby, what's up? Okay, I'm getting excited. Uh, I, let's go back to what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, the Z125 Pro, which I'm now going to refer to as the uh, Z Pro. Uh, the name is not very cool. I mean, come on. When people ride a Grom, they're like, hey, bro, you want to go ride some Groms? And they're like, yes, let's go ride some Groms. And if somebody's like, yo, dude, let's go ride some Z125 Pros. And then the guy's like, uh, okay. Why? Because that is way too much long of a name. Come on, Kawasaki. Oh, always stop. Nothing going on there. But their review was awesome, you know? They gave it outstanding reviews. And I realize it is 125 cc's. And I am riding a 700, uh, 700, 1740 cc beast. And I'm talking about 125 cc's? You, all my subscribers, all 67 of you, know that it's for Miss V Beast. And she really uh, likes the Z125. Oh, sorry, I'm already, I'm already trying to call it its big name. Uh, the Z Pro. Let's call it the Z Pro. She likes the Z Pro. It's fantastic. She really likes the bodywork a lot better than the Grom. And there's certain specific things on the Z Pro that, like, overtake the Grom's capabilities. For one thing, the suspension was one thing that the rider that did the review was really adamant about how much of a difference, a big difference, a good big difference it w that the, man, I'm getting so like caught up in my own words. Let's just call it the Kawasaki now. <laughs> that the Kawasaki was just way better when it came to suspension. 
and uh, I've watched a couple videos and they're in like some Japanese or Korean or whatever language I have no idea and they've done it looks like they're doing a comparison against the Grom and the Kawasaki 125 see that really fast um, so they were like pushing down on the shocks on the front forks and you could tell the Grom was just about to bottom out and it's very easy to bottom that bike out easily I mean just watch Jake the Garden Snake that dude bottoms out his Grom constantly it's that loud click sound you hear when he comes down from doing a wheelie instantly so Kawasaki did a awesome job on the front forks and also the back shock it's not center mount it's like offset uh, has an adjustable preload which the Grom doesn't and that is awesome totally totally awesome Kawasaki did their due diligence and uh, it even has bigger tires on there I think not wider but taller I think and there's a quite quite a lot going on that the Kawasaki uh, Kawasaki did it's great plus the color you know the Kawasaki lime green which is basically a candy green all right we're at the park now I can still continue to do my talk about the 125 Pro and I probably will but the main reason I came here is because guys I have an Instagram oh yes I do I'm gonna ride around this little piece of land right here and continue so my Instagram is boom this right here it's VBeast Nation Instagram that's my Instagram page uh, I don't really post too much stuff right now you know I post like hey that's my new video blah 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 yada 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 and I also made something for my bike it's great well I mean well I'll get to that after I'm done doing this but the, you know this cord is this would be awesome for the Z125 wouldn't it it's so amazing Z125 oh what's going on here uh parking I'm gonna oh what the heck is going on can I go over there <laughs> on my bike oh my gosh that would be awesome okay continue yeah the, the Z125 just seems like a much better 125 cc little motorcycle it seems more fun they were having a lot of fun uh, it was they were just all over that bike and you know the Grom's been out for a while and now Kawasaki is on the attack right and that's what Kawasaki does they attack the best thing going what's the number one selling motorcycle for beginners anybody anybody the Ninja 300 what's the second best anybody the Grom so Kawasaki in a sense is like guess what we're gonna boot you off your pedestal and we're gonna take number one and two and you know what I think they might be able to do it I really do check oh my gosh carnies bro oh this is so cool what's up man <laughs> what's going on carnies we got real carnies up in here vendor parking can I be a vendor no oh this is so cool ooh pounders pound it down let's get some let's give me some of those burgers check it out the gyros yeah I'm so thrown off by this because <laughs> I had no idea what's going on what's going on here okay okay wow this is pretty cool there's RVs everywhere there's usually no one in this park and I we when, when I mean no one I mean no one Z125 I think has a good run at just really devastating Honda's market share oh that looks like there's gonna be cook-offs I think we're gonna try to get the Z125 might have to do a whole putting down a hundred dollar deposit to get it what are the if they're not carnies what are these people RVers RVers and they're everywhere what is this a ranch oh man it's a barbecue cook-off amazing this is what I have made what have I made 
Put this down. Oh wait, I am like on the wrong side. I need the sun. <laughs> Let's go this way. I need the sun and let's do this. I can't turn this off so you guys can see me there and here. Bleah. Okay, this is what I have made for my motorcycle. Oh my gosh, check that sweet Batman, what is it called, a Batarang. Oh my gosh, what's on it? All right, this is made out of aluminum. Uh, I had, uh, we had one dude design it on CAD and we cut it out at work on the water jet. We have a water jet. And I polished this bad boy. See my reflection? I polished it by hand. Two and a half hours. Oh my gosh. Two and a half, check it out. You could see me in it. You can see me. Yes. Okay. That's all. That's all I had to talk about. Yeah, that's all I have, so let's just do a walk around while all these people can look at me. Like, all these people. Yeah, they can see me. Yeah, like them over there and those guys. <laughs> and just get a sweet shot of my bike, I guess. You know, just get a little bit of it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You know, I don't have any Batman stuff on the other side. Maybe I need to put some more Batman stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I might be posting a little bit of stuff. You know what? Check this out. Cotton candy! Cotton candy! Ow! Alright, you guys, can you, uh, like... Insta... Ah, uh, yeah, hit me up on Instagram, guys. Drop some pictures, and I'll, uh... I want to put those up on when I shoot my, you know, my next videos and stuff. Put your pictures up! If you post it on there, hashtag VBeast Nation. Go ahead and uh, be a part of the nation. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. VBeast Nation. Room. This is like yeah. Very flickable here. It's like leading off the side like so. Oh uh, yeah, boy. That's how it's done. And then right here too. Yeah, hanging off the side. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. This has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.